Hello, I'm Bill Helvey, and today we're going to paint a nude watercolor. And in my sketchbook, I have found one that I want to do. This is a rough sketch, and I have redrawn it on a sheet of watercolor paper. And we'll proceed to do a uh, watercolor. Okay, the first step I'm going to do, uh, I could, well, actually, I could use this line that I have of the figure and leave it as it is. But I like to use liquid ink and I use a basically a toothpick and it really makes a nice line. And what I do is go over the lines and that's going to serve as the basis for my painting. The lines make a nice thick and thin, which is for me preferable. The original I was draw drawing was done it by uh, Bub. The original drawing was done from life. Uh, so in this painting, I'm going to use my imagination to complete the uh, details So after this is dried, um, we'll proceed to the next step. I'll go ahead and finish and we'll start with the watercolor. Okay, in this step I kind of prefer to not keep the uh, graphic graphite lines on there. So I'm going to take a kneaded eraser, go over the drawing, erase all of those lines, and the waterproof ink will remain and then we're ready to start uh, painting okay I am using about a half inch flat brush and I have a mix some flesh colors and I start uh, with a light wash and I'm going into the shadow areas the light I'm going to consider is coming in from the upper left so everything on this side of the figure will be light everything on the far side will be more in the shadows spectrum And this is the first coat of a, a number of washes we'll put on. Each one overlapping the other in, in a transparent view of the figure. Okay, and here we kind of will let it rest let this dry a little bit and then we'll proceed uh, to the next step. 
Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of shadow area to the figure. This becomes the light, this comes the middle tone, and this will be the darker values. And in transparent watercolor, it, it begins with a, a nice overall shadow effect. Again, it's going only in the darkest of the shadows. And so this is uh, the last step until we finish up the background. And we'll soften some of these edges here and add some more color down the leg. Okay, I think we'll add some hair color and that will be nice until the next step. Okay, in the uh, background we need to put a color and this is going to be a one inch brush uh, and I've got liquid watercolor and I'm going to use that plus a little bit of red produce a uh, tint for the background and let's see let's be a little bold and put some color on here I like to use less instead of more so a little goes a long way that's all I'm going to do and then a uh, little more red making on the violet side and this is in the shadow of the figure and that makes it a little dramatic uh, lots of color load the brush with a lot of watercolor and it covers the paper fairly quickly and we let that dry and then we will um, finish up okay one of the last things we'll do is to work on this hair a little bit um, and a little darker color And this is basically a red and a blue and a little bit of black to give it a little darker tone. And to do it. So at this point the uh, we could quit. We could keep going and put other colors on it but I'm going to leave it on the, the simpler side and we use a minimal amount of ink, watercolor and three brushes of which there's one, two and three. And that was pretty much the, uh, the use of brushes and ink. So try it yourself and see what you can do. Thanks a lot.